Hey, John from B2Web here. Uh, in this brief video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to simply create drop down menus uh, in a WordPress website using the WordPress custom menus. And I'm also going to show you a really neat trick uh, that you can use also for making uh, great drop down menus. So here we are, we're in, my da we're in our dashboard. And I'm on the Genesis framework uh, with the optimal child theme, but you can do this with any theme. All right, I got to choose one theme to do this uh, tutorial with, and this is what's on the site. So, what you do is, is you go into uh, custom menus, uh, and this is an option that's available on um, all themes these days. It's a WordPress feature. So, I, right now I have two menus created. I have my sidebar menu, which I use in the sidebar, and I have a top navigation menu, which I use. I just call it top nav because that's at the top. And I've got a home and a contact. And here's that sidebar menu that I've set up. So what we want to do is we're going to work with this top nav and we're going to create a drop down menu. So I'm in the top nav menu. Now this is your theme location and this is where you're going to specify which menu you're going to use for your particular uh, menu. Now your theme may only have one menu option, some have two, this one has two. It doesn't matter, just if you have one, just here's where you, you select the menu that you'd like to appear wherever the menu is going to show up in the theme and generally it's across the top somewhere. It might be at the very very top, it might be here, it might be lower down, but that's your horizontal menu option. Alright, so we're going to create another uh, a full drop down menu here and we're going to do that by adding pages. I'm going to add four pages. All right, so right now, the way it's going to show up is I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six options along the top. And the trouble with these six is, take a look, these are really long labels, so it's going to really bunch up. It's probably going to scroll over into another menu bar, and it's not going to look good. So I'm going to change these labels. And you just do it like this. You don't even have to save anything. You just retype in the label, and you're done just like that. This is a real estate website that I've created. It's, it's an actual real website. So now we've shortened our labels. Now they don't show up until you save the menu. And again, as it shows up, we'll have six labels across the top just like this. You see that nothing's dropping down. What we want is a drop down. So to do that is simple. We just indent, indent, and indent. And that's it. So now they drop down under agents. You can see that there. And there they are. And we can indent further. We go again like that, and now we have an indent underneath the South Surrey. I'm going to save that. Refresh. And there we go. Very simple. Now, suppose you want to create a drop down menu but we don't want to be able to click the actual word, say, let's say agents. We just want to be able to have a bunch of options under agents, but not actually click agents. This is how you would do that. We will create a custom link. Now, this is a really, I use this all the time, this custom link. You can add blog posts, you can add different pages, you can mix and match and create whatever menu you like just by putting in a custom link. Now, if you don't want it to click through it, you just go like that, and we'll call this uh, top option. We'll add it to the menu. We just move it up there. We'll slide our agents in there, and that's it. Now we have two indents. Now every theme's different with how many they allow you to do, so I'm not even sure I'm going to be allowed to have uh, two sub sub nav bars like that so we'll see what it is. Really the point of this is is I'm on this top option and I'm clicking it and it's not going anywhere. It's just basically triggering a drop down. 
So I have there, there, and there. So I've gone three deep like that. So that's pretty cool. I don't. Not every theme will go that deep. You'll just have to, you know, see what you can do with your particular theme. There we go. And if you want to change your indent, like move it around. This, it's a little bit sticky. It can be a little bit frustrating. There we go. There we go. And always save it again. So again, you can add, if I had blog categories, I could add categories here. I could add individual blog posts, different pages, mix and match. And that's how you create uh, different types of drop-down menus uh, for really any WordPress theme that integrates with uh, the WordPress custom menus.